Good morning. So um, for today's art class, we are going to um, make a Lego portrait. So those of you who like Legos and are a fan of Lego movies, um, I think that you'll enjoy this. I tried to do like a self-portrait, so it's a picture more of me. You're welcome to do um, a self-portrait or a portrait of anyone if you want to make a superhero or anything like that. I'm sure if you um, were to look one up on Google, um, there's a lot of options to look at. So this is my example. Um, we're gonna make this using simple shapes and lines, so I hope that um, you enjoy it. So I try to use two pieces of paper, as you can see, for the, um, the marker. So I'm gonna use a Sharpie, but I would use a pencil because I erased a few times on mine, so I'm just gonna hope I don't make a mistake. Um, so we're going to start with the body shape and it's going to be <clears throat> um, um, it's going to be more of like a trapezoid so the bottom is going to come out a little bit more than the top um, so that's your body shape and again it doesn't have to be perfect um, and then the neck is going to just be two straight lines that are kind of shorter and then for the head I draw almost like it would be a square with soft edges and by that I mean it doesn't have like harsh corners um, but I leave the top blank in case you want to um, add hair like I did or you can do the traditional um, so I'll just do this in pencil like the traditional top would be would have that right um, I'm gonna add hair to mine so I won't have that traditional um, top of the Lego but if you want to do that that's totally wonderful and then the legs are gonna just come straight down and I tried to make them to the best of my ability like the same size um, and then I just made the shoes with like curve lines they're kind of like half circles so then if I if I'm making this a self portrait I would add my hair Again, if I did this in pencil, I would have no mistakes. But. Um, okay, so for arms, now I'm gonna add sleeves. Oops, which would probably be where my hair is. And then um, the arms kind of have these little ends to them so you can hold things. So there's my Lego person. And then for the, um, for the eyes, I just made kind of, when I looked up like the Lego eyes, I just made ovals, but I made the, kind of like when we made um, Yoda, you leave like the little glimmer. And then a simple smile. So there is my um, Lego person. And then if you want to add any details, like I wanted mine to look like an art teacher, so I just made the words, or the word, art on my shirt. So you could put your Lego person into a costume if you wanted. Like I said, if you want to do some kind of superhero or villain. I know some fourth graders who would prefer to make villains instead of superheroes, as I remember from our project before we left. And then you could do things um, in the background. So, like for example, I had my paintbrush. And then because I want it to look like my person's holding it, I'm going to put it under one side of the hand and then put it over the other side. If I had done pencil, I would have just erased, but... So there's my little paintbrush. Um, and then if you want, you can create a background. So I could create... My other one is blank, but I could make... Make it seem like, you know, I have my... Maybe my classroom in the background. And then... <clears throat> 
getting really carried away now <laughs> so now at this point maybe I'll make this like a color wheel so so that'll be my color wheel picture okay so at this point all I have to do really is color so I'm gonna just make a time lapse of coloring um, and this is my Lego person. So if you make a Lego portrait, I would love for you to share it and I hope you have a great day.